Hi, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Dr. Jenny Lay. I believe in sustainable weight loss. And today I'm gonna to teach you how I particularly meal prep. I do it a little bit different than everybody else, but I wanna teach you how this can fit into your life and how we can make it easier. I personally believe that the more you are prepared, the better you will be at succeeding and meeting your goals, no matter what it is in life. So whether that be a fitness goal, a career goal, um, any other sort of goal, we need to be prepared. So I don't like to pre-plan like all my meals, like put it in little containers and pre-make them or anything like that. And so when I'm preparing my meals, I like to think of it as a protein, a carb and a veggie. And when I think of it that way, I can mix and match a lot of those things because say I want to have steak this one day and green beans with it. But then I decide that, oh, I'm not really feeling green beans. Then I can switch it for asparagus along those lines, right? So I think of the proteins that I wanna eat, and then I have a list of all these recipes that I have accumulated throughout the years that I know that I enjoy and that are quick to make, and I put it in my app called Notion, and it organizes it all for me. So it's American and Asian. I actually split up all the Asian different cuisines. So it's like Japanese, Vietnamese, Chinese, Thai, um, and Mexican, so on and so forth. So the proteins that I think automatically, I want to choose lean proteins first. And so I personally like tilapia, shrimp, chicken, tofu and so i try to plan those meals first and then stan loves his steak and red meat so we have to throw in some of that as well so just for example let's say i love uh, i want to make something with tilapia so right in my mind i think that okay tilapia we have tilapia tacos we have tilapia cakes we have these pan fried tilapias or tilapia and orzu and so i have all these different recipes that i can choose from and i can kind of just pick one based on how i'm feeling we were just in cancun so i am done eating tacos for the week and so i think we're gonna make tilapia cakes it tastes just like crab cakes but except with tilapia so a lot cheaper budget friendly if you would say so I go through this list and pick all the recipes that I wanna make. And I also keep in mind kind of like the sides that it comes with. So I always think of what am I gonna have a vegetable side with? When you're making tilapia cakes, you don't actually use any vegetables in the dish. And so I like to have a side vegetable. So we're gonna make like cauliflower with chickpeas um, roasted. And so that would be our meal. And then I can always, as I said, I can always mix and match it. So say I don't want the cauliflower chickpea then I can do broccoli or zucchini or something like that instead um, in other cases where I know I will need certain ingredients like say I make a spring roll um, I know that I need cucumbers and carrots and lettuce and so other recipes that require some of the similar ingredients like that is that if I do like a Japanese uh, curry I can throw those in as well or if I do like a vermicelli bowl I can throw those cucumbers and carrots and lettuce and stuff like that in as well and so I try to pick things that will use similar ingredients and have it for multiple meals basically I particularly only plan out dinner because those dinners are basically like family we eat together you're on your own for lunch <laughs> and so I usually eat kind of like the same things over and over again for lunch if uh, if we have leftovers then I will eat the leftovers for lunch but if we don't then I will basically just have egg whites with rice and some sort of veggie or something like that so you have your protein your carbs and your fiber okay so the kids have the day off so we're on our way to the grocery store ready London? yeah okay. yeah you want to go in yeah okay want mommy to hold you Okay. <laughs> okay, so when you're picking, what is this called? Bell pepper. <laughs> when you're picking bell pepper. 
first. I heard that if it has this four on the bottom, like this, they're the female pepper, as compared Mommy, to this. Mommy, how about that? Yeah, we'll get asparagus too. This is the male pepper, and so these are sweeter to cook with or eat. So pick these ones. <laughs> I don't know if that's for sure though, so verify. Oh, yeah. What you got? <laughs> Pretzels. Uh, you're probably thinking, Jenny, that is not meal prep. That is just like cooking every single day and it sounds very overwhelming and I get it it's not for everyone and so I would say that it's more of a plan that you need to stick to and when I was single and living by myself in med school I cooked a lot like I cooked enough for the whole week and I would just freeze some of the things. So like example, the meatballs that I made or like the tilapia cakes, you don't have to just make one, you make a bunch of them and then you eat whatever you're, you wanna eat and then save some in the fridge if you wanna eat it the next day and then freeze the rest that you don't wanna eat. It's very easy to pull things out of the freezer and then put them in the oven for a later date. Another thing that has really saved me is like, say, the Asian chicken that I wrote on the list of things I want to eat. That is marinated from a while ago, maybe earlier in the month. And so I tend to do this a lot where I just marinate the meat, leave it in the freezer, and then when I want to cook something with that particular protein, um, then I pull it out. So it doesn't have to be the same recipe every single time. So say if I pull out the chicken, I can make soup with it, I can make a salad with it, I can make uh, tacos with it, I could just eat it by with itself with rice or make fried rice. So there's so many different options that I can make with this just one protein that I have already marinated. And so it makes it a, less, a lot less daunting as long as I already have the protein available. And the second thing that really helps me stay consistent with a more nutrient dense diet is having things that are nutrient dense that are readily available so I can choose them. If I am starving or hungry and something is not ready in 10 minutes, then I will choose something that is more calorie dense, that is less nutritious. And usually that's going to be chips for me. That's my kryptonite. I'll eat like a whole huge Costco bag of chips. Um, but like, so that's where Notion comes in. You have all these recipes recipes and that you keep shelf stable things in your pantry or in your freezer and make it really fast. So example, I have this protein smoothie recipe that I tend to go through if I'm hungry and it takes less than five minutes to make because it's all frozen berries and yogurt and water and a protein powder. And if I don't have yogurt and that's totally fine, I will just use water and it tastes just as good. So into the blender. Another thing is that if I need to chew on something, if I want sustenance, then I have cans of beans. And I personally feel like if you cook it up and season it, it can taste like mashed potatoes. And then I also throw like um, an egg white omelet or something like that on top of that. And so that is less than five minutes to make as well. Soft boiled eggs are another favorite of mine. Or like tuna salad sandwich, instead of using mayo, I use greek yogurt so it has more protein in there and then i season it up and i eat it on bread and so there's lots of easy recipes that you know that are fast that are your go-to's and you're like okay this i know it's gonna taste good and it's gonna fill me up and i'm gonna feel good about it and then if you're not satisfied after eating that meal that is high in protein and you know has your fats and your carbs in it then eat that Eat that snack that you wanted to eat. Eat those chips, eat, eat that piece of candy. It's totally fine. Um, it's just that once you schedule your meals and once you, ha once you have a more consistent schedule and you prevent severe hunger, you tend to snack less. I don't wanna say junk food, but you tend to choose less calorie dense foods and more nutrient dense foods.
So I hope this video was not too long winded and it helps you kind of figure out your plan on how to be more consistent with your diet, how to incorporate more whole foods and vegetables. Um, and yeah, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Let me know if you want to see any type of content or videos from me subjects, and I'll see you guys again next week. Peace. Oh, what's this? Well, I've done this.